The Ultimate Fighting Championship announcing the first batch of fights for UFC 304 over in England. And it is the, like, these feel like the mandatory challenger fights. And it kind of feels like these are the, let's get these out of the way so we can get to the fights we want to put on. In the main event, it is Leon Edwards taking, I'm saying main event, I'm assuming. Uh, Leon Edwards taking on Bilal Muhammad for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Um, Edwards, like... He has really established himself as not just the, the guy who happened to get a lucky kickoff against um, Kamaru Usman. He has established his own reign. For Muhammad, this is several years in the making for him. He has been one of the top challengers at 170 pounds for a very long time and has been deserving of this opportunity for quite some time. And so... There's been concern about his style, concern about how much of a draw he is, yada yada yada. He is clearly going in as the B-side in this bout, in, sorry, in this bout in Edwards' home country of England. Um, but he is every bit deserving of this opportunity. We'll break it down when it's happening, but uh, I think Muhammad does have a, a interesting style that can grind down Leon Edwards. The problem is, Edwards has fought guys who can do that and kind of do it better than Muhammad, and he has managed to escape that. So I do think, initially, I give Leon Edwards the edge. In the Coleman event, the interim heavyweight title on the line, as Tom Aspinall battles Curtis Blades. Blades has been dancing around a title shot for a little bit. Um, anytime he would get close, he would lose that title eliminator. He has now broken through, at least for this. This, this again, the interim title, which basically puts him fourth right now. Um, because you have Jones, Stipe, and then you have the inter interim champion in Tom Aspinall, and it's Curtis Blades here. If that crowd in London's booing, Curtis Blades is having a real good night um, because he needs to grind this fight down. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. I, I think this is going to be a bit of a another establishing night here for, for Aspinall and setting himself up to either face John Jones or to face the winner of Jones against Miocic. Again, Blades is a really, really good fighter. I just don't think he is on the level of Aspinall. But so, like, I, I don't think either guy... Um, we'll hear and new by the end of the night or anything like that. But I do also think both guys, um, I, I do also think both guys are deserving of these opportunities. Uh, other fights announced here, Bobby Green taking on Patty Pimblett. Um, th that should be interesting and a real test for, for, for Patty. Um, Manel Cape taking on, uh, Mohamed Mokayev. Arnold Allen against Giga Chikadze. That's a really, really fun fight. Daniel Pineda against Nathaniel Wood. Um, Shauna Bannon against Ravena Oliveira. Apologies for brutal pronunciation. And Bruna Brazil taking on Molly McCann. Um, so again, problem, um, sorry for pro pronunciation issues on both or uh, on, on some of those, but uh, some really intriguing fights there. 